Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy MetanetXYZ. Um, so I've actually gotten the opportunity to try out a nice program. It's actually called XSplit. Um, and they actually have two different programs. They have XSplit Gamecaster and XSplit Broadcaster. Um, I actually used to use OBS and Fraps and stuff like that, but they actually took a huge toll on my on my power, like with in terms of my computer, like it used to just make me lag a lot. Um, and then Fraps had like huge video files and etc. Like they all had problems, but when I tried out XSplit on the trial version, I'm like, wow, this is actually really good because it doesn't kill your CPU. Um, like on their presets, you can actually choose a proper preset um, for like your specific CPU. So that really helps you out because it actually like caters to your specific system. And all of them pretty much give you a still a good quality um, output. And you can also live stream directly to Twitch or to YouTube or even um, record to your hard drive and edit it there and then upload it to YouTube or whatever other um, network you want to upload it to. Um, so it's actually really, it's really simple to use. All you have to really do is just simply download it and then create an account. And then from there you can simply use their trial. Um, you actually have a whole lot of options in here of terms of what you can stream at, etc. As you can see, it also gives you the option of using a webcam. Um, I can just, I'll minimize that. Um, but as you can you guys can see, I'm right over here. Hello, yeah, that's me. Um, Metanet XYZ. My name's Nathaniel. <laughs> but yeah, um, you can also choose your different microphones. I only have one mic in, but um, if your computer has multiple microphones, um, microphone inputs, you can actually record different mics. Um, it'll also be really good if you're doing like an interview or something like that. And if you want two people talking at the same time, or if they're like in other rooms, right? Because like some mics, they have like um, they have two inputs on one mic, but you have to be like right in front of them, right? So with this, you can actually be in different rooms. Um, one thing I also like about this is that um, inside your stream option, you actually get the ability to like you actually get the ability to like change how much you're streaming of one screen. For example, you can have other scenes, so you can be streaming your webcam like the top right corner, then your your one of your monitors on like the bottom left and then you can actually have like maybe your team logo or game stats if you're gaming on like the bottom right and then like some of the top left like maybe like a subscribe button or a follow button or um, anything else like that pretty much so you can actually split up your 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution you're at and then you can actually change it into like other areas or like other aspect ratios to fit more things into one rather than having like fraps where you have to rec record one screen um, and then you have to like record something else or like another program then you have to sync it up in Movie Maker or in Camtasia, Vegas, whatever you're using that's so much extra work, um, XSplit already does that for you, you can actually modify it how you want and it's really great um, so what I like about XSplit Gamecaster is actually you have the option of streaming it straight from your game um, I'll actually do a demonstration on Bioshock Infinite um, but you can actually stream your webcam right from inside your game, that's really helpful I'm um, sorry about the lighting guys, I'm really sorry about that, um, there's actually light behind me so it kind of like, you know, contrasts my face. But yeah, um, what I was saying is that it actually gives you a lot of options in terms of what you want to do um, with the Gamecaster because you don't have to constantly exit the program and then change settings and whatnot. You can change the microphone input volume, you can change the, um, your default system device um, audio volume as well to balance it out between your mic and the actual audio. Um, you can also move where you want your webcam overlay to be on top of your gameplay um, from inside the actual overlay of XSplit Gamecaster, which is really helpful. And also, as I said, you can either live stream or you can record locally to your own hard drive, which is really, really nice. Um, so, of course, you also have total customization with what hotkeys you actually get to use. For example, if you're a lefty or if you're a righty, you can easily change them up to suit, um, to suit those needs. And at the same time, if your game requires you to constantly use, like, I don't know, Q to switch vigors or E to hold up a shield, Z to, I don't know, dash out the way or something like that, you want to keep it as something cons consistent, which is easy for you to access, but won't get accidentally pushed when you're playing a game. Cause, like, some games you'll easily be fine with getting away with, like, pushing, like, the G or the H key, because, to be honest, all you'll be using is, like, WASD, maybe the shift in the control, right? Um, but then some games might require you to use a whole bunch more. Um, I actually don't know if this supports macros, because I'm using, I'm currently using, like, a regular, um, Microsoft, <laughs> Microsoft mouse, but maybe it might support macro, like, mouse key 1, mouse key 2, um, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't have the option of trying that out, but if it does, that would be really cool, um, but yeah, also then for XSplit Broadcaster, let me just pull that up for you guys, XSplit Broad, 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 do do do, do do do, alright, so yeah, XSplit Broadcaster, by the way, um, I don't know why, oh, there you are, 
Okay, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, that actually shows you like a whole bunch of like a whole like a whole bunch of um different screen versions, but it's the same thing, right? You can also choose different scenes. But what I was saying earlier is that, for example, you can simply shrink your main monitor like this, and then you can also pop in another scene. For example, you can go to add scene. Um, perhaps let's say you want to add camera, right? I have my Logitech HD Pro camera right here. See my webcam? Boom. So now I'll be gaming on one screen. On the screen over there, I can be gaming. Um, I don't know if it's reversed. I think it's I think it's inverted. I don't know about that yet. But like I'll be gaming on screen. You can see you can easily see my um reactions, expressions, etc. inside another screen. So that's what the broadcaster. So you can keep everything consistent with the broadcaster, nice and professional. If you just simply want to like quickly just do a live stream of a game, boom, you have your webcam, your mic, etc. set up right away, and then you simply just press the record button or you press the stream button, and you go. You don't have to like constantly like not even constantly. You don't have to tweak all the different aspect ratios between different scenes. So like that's if you want to have like a whole bunch of stuff going on and you want to keep it consistent or you want to edit it, um, put branding in there, etc. like that. That's what you would use the broadcaster for. Um, they're both really, really great programs. I, I actually, I'm so glad that Freedom actually gave me the opportunity to try this out. Um, I, I, I wasn't really aware about this earlier. Like I tried it before, um, but the computer system which I had before, it was, it was able to handle it. But at the time, I, I just didn't want to like... I don't know. I didn't want to do this because I wasn't able to live stream. Um, and I wasn't able to live stream because my internet was like just totally bad. But now I have like simple two, three megabytes a second up, and I can easily live stream still. Um, and that's really slow to be honest. That's really slow upload, but it still works just fine with live streaming through XSplit. When I was using OBS and Fraps, I'm telling you guys, those. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to hate on them, but XSplit is just so much easier. It's everything all in one. You get everything that you possibly need. You have all the expandability options you have all the tweakability options everything is here in one program well two technically but under like one you know like one bigger company slash program kind of thing so yeah um hopefully you guys enjoyed my little review of the XSplit gamecaster and the XSplit broadcaster um i'll for sure i'll be using it more in the future um i'll plan to buy it um if i don't get it and i'll actually really want to show you guys what it's capable of doing so i'm going to quickly show you guys some gameplay and then i'll Alrighty guys, how you doing today? So it's Midnight XYZ again. Um, so here I am actually simply using XSplit Gamecaster. Um, so as you guys can see, you can see my face over there and you also see the menu. So that's what I'm talking about the overlay. I could also simply shrink it. I can also move the webcam over, etc. So it really gives you a whole lot of custom, um, custom, customability. Wow, that's that's some bad English right there. <laughs> I was like totally tripping up on my English. Okay, um, but yeah, guys. So you can if your HUD's in like a different location in the game, it's really easy. Um, if you simply just want to quickly swap the location, you can even toggle your webcam and turn it on and off if things are happening in the background, or if you just simply don't want to show your face or anything like that. If you don't have webcam, it's still perfectly fine. So um, it actually gives you a whole lot of um options inside the game overlay here overlay here you can actually mute the microphone turn down the microphone input volume same with the speakers meaning that if you're in full screen mode you don't actually have to go into your windows menu or into your mac menu and then actually turn down the volume if your keyboard doesn't have a volume control key that is um and then also you can um open twitch etc and you can actually chat with people there you can also post your live stream url to twitter facebook google plus whatever whoever's in your circles they'll also be kept notified whenever you do it um if you simply just pop up the url um, and then also you can even use your mouse and illustrate your gameplay with the uh, Xplay Gamecaster. So it's really nice. Um, there's a whole lot of features on it. So let me just show you guys some settings here. I'm going to show you guys that I'm not skimping out. I'm going to show you guys what this program is capable of doing with a simple, basic computer or gaming rig. Um, so everything here is maxed out in the game. And then I'm going to try and show you guys exactly what kind of performance you'll get. Um, it's really really great performance and I'm just I'm ecstatic like I'm, I'm honest with you guys when I'm using fraps The file is so huge like I have a one terabyte hard drive in this and it just takes it all up Like not not even all of okay. That's a big boost. I'd say like 100 150 gigabytes Um when I'm recording like a basic session and then I have to edit that down and then render it That's so much more work compared to the um, game caster. So as you can see here. I'm recording my FPS right now is 138 FPS on a basic R9 280X, guys. And, I mean, this is not even an intense fight scene. But you can tell that there's a whole lot of storm graphics, etc. going on right now. Um, but yeah, let's just get some stuff started. So, let's move this. I don't think there's any action in this scene, to be honest. I've finished the game before, but it's been a while. Oh. Oh, wow. Never mind. 
<laughs> but yeah, as you can see, the quality is just amazing. It's just amazing quality, and I think that you guys will really enjoy the program. Just give it a trial at least. Go on their website, um, download the program, and then buy it afterwards once you got the chance to try it out, etc. Because it's a really great program. You're not going to find anything better than this. I'm being honest. You're not going to find anything better than this for the price that they're asking for and for what it's going to do for you. Um, so let's see. We got the, t we got the same two people over here. Wow. She's here. Alrighty, guys. But yeah, this is really what the quality you'll be getting. Um, you have different presets as well. You have like the low quality, medium, high, ultra high, very high, very high, and then ultra high. Currently, this is the ultra high setting. Um... As you can tell, it's really, really good. I'm happy with it, guys. So hopefully you like the gameplay part of it. I mean, there's not much action in terms of me, like, shooting guns, etc. But, I mean, 140 FPS right now here. I'm pretty sure it's not going to drop more than 40 FPS more when I'm in a heavy fight scene. I've already been, I've already been live streaming and recording with um, Twitch. When you live stream, um, it depends on your bandwidth. I'm going to tell you that for now. But if you have at least 3 megabytes a second upload, you can easily do... 720p HD, 60fps, or 1080p 30. No problem at all. No problem. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, MetalNightXYZ. Also, follow me on Twitch as well. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out, guys.